Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Head-to-Head -head Seasons game. Currently 4-1 on the season. Should be 5-0, oh, but whatever, we're not going to get into that. Today, we're going to get right into the gameplay. Going to try and walk away with another win in this one. Going to struggle on offense right away, though. Nearly throwing a pick there on the very first play. Had single coverage out there with Calvin Johnson, just wasn't able to find it. Second play, we are going to run with Adrian Peterson. And just to let you guys know, yes, this was before I lost Adrian Peterson. So, uh, spoiler, but there you go. Anyway, uh, Calvin Johnson going to drop this pass, unfortunately, on third and relatively short. So, we are going to have to punt on the very first drive. Make a nice stop there on defense, though. Sets up a second and nine. And my opponent is going to throw the ball here on the run. Oh, Pap, he nearly stepped in front of that one, but at least we knocked it away. Brings up now a third and nine, and he is going to pass it over the middle here to Devontae Parker. And remember Devontae Parker's name because it's going to come up a few times here. Again, on this play, he doesn't get the bad animation that a lot of times happens on those drag routes. So he is going to be able to pick up the first down there. Again, now first and 10, and he goes over the middle. Risky throw there. I was right there for that one. Can't believe he got away with it. Brings up a second and two, and he is going to convert there with an easy play with Darren Sproles. So he is driving down the field here pretty convincingly on this drive. Did make a couple of bad plays. This one he is going to take off with Cam Newton. Cam Newton just does not freaking fumble, man. I don't know if you guys have the same luck with him or not, but dude, I was laying the boom on him in, in some of these games that I've been playing, and uh, even in this one, and he just does not freaking fumble. Anyway, third and four here, and Calvin Johnson breaks the tackle, and he is going to be able to pick up the first down in that one. Man, he is just dinking and dunking here, picking up the first downs. Another one there for him, and he's going to go back to the run here off the right side, and look at that nasty spin move. Got to give him credit. That was pretty sick. Sets up a second in inches here, and he is going to pick up the first down and more nearly getting close to the end zone there. Uh, first and goal here now. I am just struggling on defense. Cannot seem to stop him. But right there, we do get that little suction tackle with Luke Keekley. Sometimes it works out for me, I have to admit. But on third and goal, unfortunately, he is going to be able to get off the outside, and I am not able to make the play that time. Jamal Charles into the end zone for a touchdown. So he is up 7-0 now after we were unable to do anything on our first drive. And unfortunately here, oh my goodness. Oh, what a bad throw. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Like, I get thrown off sometimes in these games when the things don't start to go my way right off the bat, and I make bad decisions like that one. That was just an awful throw. No excuse there. Um, it wasn't Brady's fault. It was all my decision. But we've got to get back in this game. So third and nine, we are going to make a sick throw here. Tom Brady with a beautiful pass. I don't know if it was the best decision, but it was definitely a good pass. And on first and ten, right after that, we get the beautiful animation there with Julio Jones. He gets that little jet back. Uh, boost there at the end of the play and he is going to pick up the touchdown so 7 to 14 not too bad here a minute 35 left roughly in this half we got to try and get a turnover here and this is our opportunity on this drive we have to make the turnover as Devontae Barker makes another nice catch we've got to make a play here and get back into this game oh no <laughs> don't look look away look away at that horrible user play by me Oh my goodness, Darren Sproles just juked me right out of my pants. Nice blocking there by my offensive line, by the way. Unbelievable stuff with that, man. It's just, it's so ridiculous. Third and 13, we nearly got that deep ball again to Julio Jones, but unfortunately we do not. So we're down 21 to 7, and my opponent still has the ball. Joe Hayden dropping a pick. Can I get a break? Please, can I get a break? Throwing it up into coverage again, and he comes up with it. Oh my goodness, Mike Evans with such a sick catch, but Calvin Johnson, he tested him one too many times. Calvin Johnson, free safety, that's not the golden ticket, but even the regular 85 overall one has such amazing catching, and he is going to get the pick here. So we've got a few seconds here just trying to get into field goal range before the end of the half, and we are going to about do it there, but on this play, we are definitely going to get into field goal range. Julio Jones with a big catch. And we still got time here to kick this field goal before the end of the half. So, 10 to 21 going into the half. Not the end of the world, but my opponent does have the ball coming out of the half. So, we've got to get a turnover of some sort. We, we have to do something here. First and 10, and he is going to take off here with Cam Newton. Again, no forced fumble. I know Patrick Peterson doesn't have the best hit power, but come on. Got to help me out a little bit, EA. I need a little bit of luck to go my way, please. We got that interception that one time when he threw it right at Calvin Johnson. But other than that... 
the luck has pretty much gone to my opponent on this game so far. So first and 10, my opponent back on offense again. He is continuing to run the football with Jamal Charles and dink and dunk down the field. He's not really setting up anything in terms of the deep passing game. So I was kind of starting to commit on a little bit lower passes. I'm not so worried about him going deep on me. I'm just trying to get him to make a mistake. Third and 19 after that sack, and oh, we got a little bit lucky there. I'm not going to lie. He was on the run and was getting pressured, but he did throw a bad pass there, so we do get the ball back here. Nice short pass there to Adrian Peterson. Picks up the first down, but on this play, look at Tom Brady making the guy miss and then firing down the field a dip and dot to Julio Jones, who has been the MVP of this game. No question about it. He gets down there to about the five-yard line or so. So we're now at second and goal here. He's, Brady's going to throw that one up. Oh, he missed Calvin Johnson on that one. Not the best throw by Brady. Third and goal here, and he is going to find Julio Jones, but Jones is unable to hold on. Oh, that could have been such a game changer, but at least we're going to be able to walk away with the field goal here. So we pull within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So it's a one-score game now. My opponent's back on offense. Nice little short pass there to Mike Evans, and I'm trying to get him to make a mistake. Oh, I wanted him to throw that pass too. Not that I was expecting my guy Bruce Smith to make a play, but at least I was hoping that somebody else could step in front of it somehow. <gasps> Chris Harris! Why are you dropping that? That is a game changer! That's an easy touchdown if you just hold on to that football. No! Thankfully, it is now third and 15, and we've got a chance here, but he is going to take off and whatever. We just don't make the tackle, apparently. So he picks up a first down on the ground, for goodness sake. My opponent firing it into double covers. That was against Patrick Peterson and free safety Calvin Johnson. Does not throw the pick, though. Then on second and 10, the nice juke to get the first down. Devontae Parker is just killing me, man. I just cannot cover him in this game. Now he's going to take off and throw down the field again. I believe that's Calvin Johnson with another big grab down the field. And then the very next play, he gets into the end zone there with his tight end. Ugh, how frustrating, man. We just we made so many mistakes on that drive. We've still got a chance here, though. We do need to score twice within the final two minutes, so it is going to require an onside kick recovery. But we've still got a chance here. Brady on the run, firing it out here to Adrian Peterson. I'm throwing it a lot more to my running backs lately out of the backfield because a lot of people like to leave that open for whatever reason. First and 10 here, and we've got a man down the field. Oh, baby, what a grab by Julio Jones. Huge play there, and we are in range here to potentially score. Firing this one up. Calvin Johnson holds on to it. We've got a chance, Mexico. ladies and gentlemen. We have to get this onside kick, though, with a minute 21 left. Down eight, and we are going to kick this one. He fumbles it, and we recover it. Chris Harris with the huge play. Guys, we've got a chance to come back in this game. We have a chance. Brady firing it down the field. We've got Julio again. Nearly picked, though. Nearly picked. Second and 10 here, and we've got a man, Greg Olson, short. So a big play there. Now, third and one, and oh, my offensive line is just so awful. They're all the best. They're the best offensive linemen in the game, but they're just terrible. Take a look at this one again. Five offensive linemen against three rushers. Three of my offensive linemen didn't block anybody on that play, and he gets the sack. Awesome. Fourth and 11. We've got a chance here with Kevin White, and he is going to drop it, unfortunately. So that is pretty much going to do it in this game. Unfortunately, we are going to walk away with a loss. Damn it. My opponent kicked the field goal before the end of the game as well to rub it in. So the final score, 31 to 20. Close game, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, if you're new to the channel, again, please be sure to subscribe as well. I would greatly appreciate it. I love all the support you guys have been giving me. Thank you so much. We'll be doing some more Road to the Show here in the coming days. I know it's been a little while. I've been falling a little bit behind on that, but I promise you guys it is not going away. I do make sure that I will be putting out a couple of videos here uh, by these, this weekend or so, I think. I will have them out for you guys. So thanks for all the support. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Talk to you guys again soon.